Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. Okay, and uh, now that I've talked to Odina, we'll go down and uh, we'll go down and see what's next. Wait, can I go in here? Oh yeah, right, this one. Yeah, the, the Spectre Terminal. Okay, I might be able to get some useful stuff right off the bat here. Let's see. Spectre Requisitions. Uh, oh, no, I guess I need some... I guess I need some monies. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Spectre Information Processing Center. This terminal offers secure information access and support for authorized... Authorization of covert operations or requ uh, requisitions. It is restricted to operatives currently on active duty with the special tactics and recon. Uh, any operation requiring uh, payment can be executed at the terminal nearby, which supports secure and untraceable financial transactions. Ooh. Buying some guns off the deep web. <laughs> uh... What's it? Corian Fleet Intel. Uh, Corian, uh, Corian Pilgrimage uh, Gen Valen, uh near um, Nima on the uh, Citadel received a large credit transfer from the, from the fleet. Really? Uh, Gen Volen uh, purchased tech including high-end weapon uh, mounts and kinetic barrier emitters from several ship service centers. Uh, on Ilium, another Quarium pilgrimage unidentified was observed uh, searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. Uh, pilgrimage was later heard uh, saying that he, or sorry, the Pilgrim was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Data suggests the Quarian fl uh, fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. This could be a retraction to the Reaper invasion, uh, but no formal offer or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Quarians may instead be preparing uh, for conflict with the Geth. No! Stupid! That's a bad decision. There's a big war with other machines. You can't be fighting the other machines. It's dumb. And I ain't gonna bother with the shooting range. I already know how to shoot. I don't know, man. If I, if I still need target practice at this point, I, I don't know. It doesn't speak well. <laughs> Let's see. I was just talking about... Uh, oh, yeah. That's Bailey. Ah, okay. Now I can talk to the journalist. Uh, with Al Jelani. I can't remember what her name is. Oh, let's do a quick save. I haven't saved since the stream began. Oof. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard. Kalisa bint seen in Al-Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. We haven't always seen eye to eye, but I'm glad you're on our side. Yes, yeah, go out there and report some real news. None of that fake news shit. <laughs> and, uh, oh, James. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. Not your kind of place? I take it this is your first time here? 
with the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. Ah, uh, it is hard to believe. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth is some kind of nightmare. Yeah. That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I I'm going to head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. I'll, I'll have to look up when what the word pendejo means. I, 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 don't know what that, <laughs> I don't know what that one means. I know very, very little Spanish. <laughs> No, actually, as far as as far as second languages go, the um, probably mo I probably know more Tagalog than anything else. Tagalog being the main language of uh, the Philippines, uh, that's that's where my that's where my wife comes from. Uh, okay, I think. Wait, did I do everything up here? I think I did. Yeah, it's just a few doors down that way. Oh, can I go to the nightclub yet? Probably not. There's probably nothing useful there. No, just a Normandy. Okay. All right, time to... Moment, perhaps it's time to go talk to the crew. Oh, why? Well, those are some pretty nice loading sequences. I, th I, I still like the Mass Effect 2 loading sequences the best, though. I don't know, there's just something... Uh, there's something about the just the sound and the visuals. It just it just gets me every time. You know, there's it's it's almost nostalgic for me at this point. Oh, hello. Let's see, Avina. She's gonna say the same thing as before. Uh, nobody here. Wait, is there anything? Passenger lounge, Normandy airlock. Uh, yeah. Okay, I guess that's everything. Alright, that's everything. I'll go talk to the crew then. Return to the Normandy. Oh, I think this will be my first chance talking to the crew, actually. Yeah, that'll be the first, first time this playthrough that I get to talk to the crew. Noise. Oh, right, this thing. Right, I didn't, I didn't, I forgot that this, that part came this early. Uh, that, that feeling of just trying to run. Yeah, they do kind of capture that feeling of un being unable to run in dreams. Actually, interestingly enough, I found also that in dreams, I can't seem to uh, read anything. Like, I can't, um, like there never seems to be a sign with with distinguishable letters or numbers for me.
Yeah, I dare say that'd probably mess with you. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? Um, I don't want to talk about it. Just shaking off some sleep. Oh, that's Commander not... Shepard. Oh, I'm there specialist... she is. Oh, uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. And she's a great character. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. <laughs> Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, uh -huh. shall I give you a tour? <laughs> I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. <laughs> so she's got the hots for Edie. <laughs> All right. Um. Commander. Oh. Udina updated me on your meeting with the council. Sounds like they're running scared. They're useless. The council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good. I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. And Earth? What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. 
That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.